Good morning, Southern West Virginia. I'm Stormwatch Meteorologist Matt Bullock. For your morning's commute, we are tracking some light showers with some fog. The good news is once we get later in the morning, we'll transition into mostly cloudy skies. But as we look at our fog, the current visibility, we are seeing some light fog across Beckley and Oak Hill and also by Anstead, about three miles of visibility. So you might want to take it slow. Temperatures, however, are pretty chilly. I mean, it's almost mid-May and it feels like March. 44 degrees in Lewisburg, Raynell, Oak Hill and Beckley, while it's 46 degrees in Mount Hope and 42 degrees in Bluefield and in Athens. As we look at our Doppler radar, we are seeing some light rain showers passing through the region. As we get into our future cast, here's what our morning is going to look like. Temperatures are going to be very chilly, but as we get around lunchtime, showers will start to clear out. And we're going to see mostly cloudy skies, especially areas to our north, but areas down to our south could see some sunshine around lunchtime. Temperatures stayed chilly in the low 50s. As we get later in the afternoon, Again, we're going to stay in the 50s, so it is going to be a chilly day. We could see some showers in the up higher elevations, especially in Pocahontas County. But again, we're not going to see too much sunshine today. We're going to see mostly cloudy skies. But as we get into tonight, clouds will start to clear. Temperatures will going to fall back down into the low 40s tonight. As we get to tomorrow, though, we're going to see lots of sunshine. Temperatures warming back up into the 60s. But here's what's going on for today. The reason why we are seeing showers this morning is because we have a high pressure system off to our west and what this is bringing, it's bringing northwest winds and when it hits the mountains, it's actually causing convection. So we're actually seeing some upsloping rain showers because of this high pressure system. As we get later into tonight, this high pressure system kind of just dips down to the south, bringing us west winds. So we are going to uh, not going to see any more upsloping showers, going to dry out. It's going to be nice. As we get through tomorrow, we're going to see winds start to shift out of the southwest. We're going to warm up into the 60s and 70s by Thursday. And by Friday, we could see a little bit of isolated showers. See this little cold front associated with this low pressure system. It's going to make its way down to the south. It could bring some thunderstorms in the afternoon of Friday. Other than that, all in all, nothing too bad. But I got some good news for you. For all you warm temperature lovers, get this. Next week, we have warm temperatures on the way. And guess what? Dry temperatures. We're going to stay dry and warm temperatures back in the 80s for next week. But for today, if you want to take your dog on a walk, the best chance is probably later this afternoon as we're going to dry out mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures probably in the upper 50s. Today's pub is Marnie by Michelle Coffney. And look at this cute golden retriever. It's already smarter than me with the glasses. Tonight's forecast, we're going to see mostly cloudy skies, but the clouds will start to clear. Temperatures in the low 40s. As we get through your extended forecast, it's going to be cool today. Warming back up by tomorrow. We're going to stay dry midweek. Great day to be outside. And we're warming up into the 80s by the weekend.